Yo, it's the young boy, Carnage, a hooligan Carnage, or one of the greats, you know who it is. I'm back with another video, man. I took a small hiatus, man. I got tired of playing 2K23. Uh, at one point, all my archetypes or builds, whatever you want to call them, was deleted. I've had to start over, over fresh. I ain't want to do that. So I took my time, got into this PGA Tour, which is really a good game. It was free at the moment, but I think you gotta pay some money now. But other than that, I'm back on 2K, baby. You get ready for the new season one, 2K24. And I'm letting y'all know I am not buying no no uh, season passes. I'm gonna play the game regular. I ain't about to spend money like that. Y'all could do that. But I am gonna show you what build I made. This archetype, this greatness, this demigod, whatever you want to call him. I'm gonna show you him. So here we go, we got Jamal Moss, right hand, jersey number 31, because that's the best number. And let's see, we're doing a small forward. I'm going to be 6'8", 210 pounds. I want to be light on my feet just a little bit, not too much. And this is how they had the, the My Player Builder, which makes most sense, because it, it, it put everything right there. Even though 2K been doing this for years, but they show you what badge you can get, what it do, what the sub to, what badge connect with the other badge. And you can build up your build like that. So with the speed and acceleration, I messed that out. With the strength, I made it at 84. If I can get that bulldozer on silver. Uh, that vert is an 80 and that stamina is a 90. Now with that perimeter defense, I got to add an 87 to get that gold, uh, gold challenger. The steel is an 85. They get that silver steel, the silver on um, glove, and the uh, defense rebound is a 70. Alright, so with the playmaking, it's a certain badge I've been looking for, so I made sure I, I put my ball handle to a 75. No, my ball handle is at an 84. My speed with ball is a 75. And my pass accuracy is a 70. What's that? 75 or a 77. If you do a 75, you'll be good. If you do a 77, it really no different. You could use those two points for something else. Now my three point ball is at an 83. For some reason, when you sit between six, seven and six, nine, your three, three point ball would be at 83. So I mass it out. I have my mid range shot to like an 84. And I have my free throw, it will be a 71. My driver dunk is going to be a 87. My cool shot will be a 77. My driver layer is going to be a 69 or a 70. If you could tweak it to get a little bit more on it, do that and you will see that your uh, badge will change from silver to gold. Alright, so this is the build. Is it one of a kind? For me it is. Yeah, I'm making it for myself. I'm just sharing it with y'all. But this build is way different. And you're gonna see why. Alright, so on the side we see that we have the different the different badges. What um what the minimum that you need to have to get these badges and what it takes to uh, make these badges level up. Just to let you know all the badges do start at bronze and as you play more with your build, that way it will level up to the next potential um badge level. So let's say you do have like an 84 three ball and you can get, get something on gold. You start from bronze and you work your way up to gold. Uh, let's see. So one of the badges that I want to talk about is that bunny badge. As you know, they took away uh, limitless takeoff because it was real glitchy. But it came back with the bunny badge. So they basically the same badge. Uh, one thing I noticed while playing the game, Pro Touch do activate more on this game than it did in uh, 2K23 or any previous 2K. And let me see, Giant Slayer is good. I haven't tried a spin cycle. I, I think that will be very, very nice to do. Let me see, that Whistle badge, that kind of interact with your free throw badge. And the, the reason why I say that, you pretty much try to draw, draw the charge or to draw the foul. So I feel like that is a great badge to have. Uh, Posterizer for me is on silver. 
to get on go you gotta have like a 93 driver dunk i'm not trying to be all that y'all i'm trying to space the flow and i'm trying to do damage when i can you see i have slithery on silver to make it go up more i had to do more with a close shot or the driving layup i'm not really trying to do all that either but in area wizard i am going to try to catch alleys i'm gonna try to do putbacks i'm trying to like i said i'm trying to help out in the paint i'm a small forward you feel me i'm pretty much the king of the court i'm gonna let my point guard do what he need to do shoot and guard score but i'm gonna be there on defense and offense at the three all right so with these with these shooting badges that about to come up the thing that i notice is it's kind of unfair that when you sit the time you hit six seven to six nine your three-point ball dropped down from an 88 to an 83 and that means that you have to find a base to use for your, your shot. Right now it's hard, but it is season one. So I know in the future they're going to release more. So as a small forward on up, I feel like you should have a high mid-range. So you can see you can activate another base. And once, once you put it on, you can make it work for your three ball. So to be honest, if I could, I would have like an 86 mid-range. and have like an 83 ball right now for this build. And then the next build I make, he will be like 6-6 six, six with a high 3 ball. Now the free throw, uh, if you get up to 80, you get that free throw badge at silver. But I feel like the free throw should be easy this year. Now unless they did something extra. Alright, so let me see. Now pass accuracy is a 75 or 77. With that, I get John Morant passing, which is good. Uh, I don't want to have all the playmaking badges. I just want to help out. That's my main thing with this build. I want to be able that I can do playmaking moves. But I'm not selfish to try to be the playmaker. The reason why I feel like 2K23 was like that because everybody wanted to be the main ball handler when you don't have to be. Now, my ball handling is an 84, and my speed with ball is a 75. And that's because I wanted to get that speed boost and that um, blow by badge. So I could just go right past the uh, defender when he hit me on the perimeter. So like with defense, I haven't did anything with interior defense, but my perimeter is an 87. So you see that I have the challenger on goal. I have um, feet fast. I have... Uh, clamps i have ankle brace i have a lot of badges on silver and gold like a lot of people try to shoot and try to get that hall of fame i, I try to be balanced with everything instead of being good at one thing so my still is the 85 so i have glove on silver and i have right stick on ripper on silver that don't mean i'm gonna be spamming that just means i'm good at still Alright, defense rebound. As you can see, I have rebound chaser on bronze. And I have um, as I have another badge on bronze. Now with my um, my attributes for my physical, as you can see, they do count towards some of the badges that I have. Uh, the glow vibe I had to have like a I want to say like a 80, a 74, a 75 acceleration, and an 83 speed. Uh. See, my strength is very important because I want to build those on silver. Even though it's not on gold, but I'm not trying to be that guy, like I keep saying. I want to be able to space out the flow. My vert is a 80. And you can see I have the area words on gold. I have posterized on silver. So I do get some nice dump packages. Uh, the only one I can't get that I see that I really want is the Russell Westbrook. But you gotta have like a 93 driver dunk. I'm not trying to do all that. And my stamina is a 90, so it's gonna be hard for me to get tired. Now, this is my first build. Best believe I'm gonna come out with some more builds sooner or later. But let me just master the game first to find me a nice jump shot. And y'all keep looking for the content, man. This is the boy Hooligan Carnage, Young Carnage. All of them is the same. 
If y'all need any more advice, y'all hit me up. And uh, like I always say, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. And until next time, one.